Yes. Hi, good morning, everybody. Welcome to our daily magical moments. We are actually at GSA today because our public school didn't have classes. Um, as you all know, we will be closing. What we want to do though is provide daily magical moments to help have school come to you and your teachers are all going to take turns, some of your teachers, and we're going to read books, we're going to do activities, uh, gross motor activities. It'll be live every day at 10 a.m. and this will help keep the learning going. So we're going to start today and it's myself and Miss Alexa and Miss Andrea and Miss Linda, and we're all gonna say good morning. Good morning, Hi. good morning, everyone. Everyone. And Miss Andrea will be reading a story for you, so you just have to be patient with us as we get set up, but um, we're certainly gonna miss our kiddos, and we are going to be available through text messaging if you have any of your teacher's phone numbers or specifically email. You can always get in touch with us. We love pictures. We're certainly gonna miss the children. We just want everyone to stay healthy and um, enjoy your time together right now. But there's Miss Linda. Hi. And we're ready to go. So let me get this set up, Miss Andrea. Hi guys, is that Robbie? Is Robbie watching? Hi Robbie. Hi Robbie. Yeah. I'll move over. Okay. Hi, everybody. I hope you're all enjoying your time at home today. Um, we do miss you all, like Miss Tracy said. Um, but we have a very special holiday tomorrow. It's St. Patrick's Day. Um, so I thought we could read There Was an Old Lady Who Swallowed a Clover. You all know how much I love to read our old lady books and sing them to you. So this is um, ready for today. <clears throat> there was an old lady who swallowed a clover. I don't know why she swallowed the clover, but she didn't roll over. There was an old lady who swallowed a daisy. She wasn't lazy when she swallowed the daisy. She swallowed the daisy to brighten the clover. I don't know why she swallowed the clover, but she didn't roll over. There was an old lady who swallowed a butterfly. She did not sigh when she swallowed the butterfly. She swallowed the butterfly to rest on the daisy. She swallowed the daisy to brighten the clover. I don't know why she swallowed the clover, but she didn't roll over. There was an old lady who swallowed a bird. It wasn't absurd when she swallowed that bird. She swallowed the bird to glide with the butterfly. She swallowed the butterfly to rest on the daisy. She swallowed the daisy to brighten the clover. I don't know why she swallowed the clover, but she didn't roll over. There was an old lady who swallowed a pot. Believe it or not, she swallowed that pot. Oh my goodness, look how big that is. She swallowed the pot to carry the bird. She swallowed the bird to glide with the butterfly. She swallowed the butterfly to rest on the daisy. She swallowed the daisy to brighten the clover. I don't know why she swallowed the clover, but she didn't roll over. There was an old lady who swallowed some gold. Oh, I wonder why she swallowed that gold. It wasn't cold, all that shiny gold. She swallowed the gold to fill up the pot. She swallowed the pot to carry the bird. She swallowed the bird to glide with the butterfly. She swallowed the butterfly to rest on the daisy. She swallowed the daisy to brighten the clover. I don't know why she swallowed the clover, but she didn't roll over. See, that's a clover, a four-leaf clover. There was an old lady who swallowed a fiddle. It is a riddle why she swallowed a fiddle. Hmm. 
the old lady started to dance, and before she was done, a wee little leprechaun joined in the fun. You see that leprechaun? There he is. As they twirled high and low, she giggled so much, out popped a rainbow. Happy St. Patrick's Day. So tomorrow is St. Patrick's Day, and sometimes that sneaky little leprechaun likes to make a mess or likes to visit you and do some silly things in your house. Um, mm -hmm. So we, we thought we could read also today is how to catch a leprechaun. And maybe today, after you're done reading this, after we're done reading this book, maybe today you can take some time to make your own leprechaun trap in case that sneaky leprechaun tries to come to your house. Mm -hmm. The night is dark. The streets are quiet. St. Patrick's Day is near. I tap my hammer so you'll know the leprechaun is here. I'll pull out all your laces, put glitter in your hair. And when you walk around, you'll see my gold coins everywhere. Oh, gold coins. You'll never catch me in your trap, but yes, I'll make a scene. I'll turn the whole place upside down. Your toilet will be green. <gasps> Does anyone remember last year at GSA when the toilet was green when they came to school? House number one, I'm going in. Really, that's your trap? I'm in and out without a doubt. That one was a snap. Yeah, you couldn't catch him in that trap. And now I think it's getting worse. A shoebox on a stick? I'll dance a jig and still escape. We leprechauns are quick. They can't catch that leprechaun. Another house, I fixed your shoes. They really were quite smelly. I'll eat the nuts you left as bait and leave with a full belly. This guy's really sneaky. Now you're talking, look at this, it's dandelion tea. But I'm too speedy for your trap, the tea is mine for free. Now I know you want my pot of gold, that iron cage was clever, but I've been alive 200 years, you won't catch me ever. Oh, he got the boy in the cage instead of the leprechaun. Ha, 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 ha. Now you're getting fancy, but I'll escape with twinkle toes. It's a fancy, pansy, dancy. It seems to me an engineer has helped me with this design, has helped with this design. Too bad this little leprechaun is going to be just fine. Boy, no one seems to be able to catch this leprechaun. Your entire house is one big trap from the ceiling to the floor. Nice try indeed, but soon enough, I'll stroll right out the door. The leprechaun be gone 3000 gave me quite a scare, but without a four leaf clover, I won't be caught in there. You'll never catch this leprechaun. Impossible, that's a fact unless one day a brilliant child designs the perfect trap. Maybe that'll be you. But who will that child be? Better luck next year. Oh, he made it out. He's all home. He's home now at his own house with his gold coins. So I think that he really likes those gold coins. All right, so Robbie said, Robbie's going to be building his leprechaun trap as soon as his little brother goes to bed. So if you make any leprechaun traps, why don't you take a picture and share it um, underneath this video? All right, I think we do have a um, special visitor. Thanks we for joining do. me. Thanks, Miss Andrea. <laughs> Thank All right, so I'm going to turn this around. Who, who is here? Yay. Who is the? It's Albert. Hi, Albert. Oh, Albert, are you... Are you here when the children are not? Is that is that who plays with our toys? Oh, Albert, what are we going to do? Oh, boys and girls, don't worry. Albert's going to take good care of your school and make sure that all the toys are safe. All right, everybody. Have a great day. It's always a great day at GSA, even if you're home. 
Make sure you tune in to us 10 o'clock every morning. We'll have an activity or a book. All right. Have a good day. Bye, Albert. Bye. Bye.